WKRG News 5 starts right now with breaking news. Hi everyone and thank you for joining us. I'm Peter Albrecht. And I'm Devin Walsh in tonight for Roseanne Haven. We are following some breaking news tonight. The Mobile County Sheriff's Office is working a horrible elder neglect investigation in Grand Bay right now. Three veterans have been sent to the hospital and a fourth may soon be on the way. News 5's Dana Winter is on the scene. Well, Peter, we just got here and as we arrived, we saw that ambulance and it looked like paramedics were putting a person in the back of it. Right now, that ambulance is actually taking off from the scene where we are at. We are told by the Mobile County Sheriff's Department, a group of veterans live at this home and are in deplorable shape. We're told they've had a lack of medical care for some time, and some of the resident, uh, for some of those residents, uh, three of them, like you heard, have been sent to the hospital. We are told they've not seen anyone affiliated with the home for several days, up to even a week, and some cannot tell how how long they've been there. Now this is an active investigation. We've seen sheriff's deputies near the front door shining their flashlights. Like I said, we saw paramedics uh, looking like they were placing a person in the back of that ambulance. And now uh, that ambulance uh, pulled away from the house and it's getting ready to drive away from here where we're at. At this point, we are aware this is uh, being investigated as an elder neglect case. But it sounds like there are still a lot of details to come out. Uh, like I said, that ambulance is about to pull past us. Here it goes, and it is on its way out of here. We will, of course, continue checking in with the Mobile County Sheriff's Office, and we will update you with the latest information on this case, both on air and online on WKRG.com. Reporting live in Mobile County, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5. All right, thanks, Dana. More breaking news out of Orange Beach. Take a look at this, a huge fire at Moe's Original barbecue. That's on Perdido Beach Boulevard, roughly between Rouse's and the Dairy Queen. News 5 viewer John Bottle sent us this video. We have a crew on the way. We'll keep you updated on air and online at WKRG.com. Tonight, Theodore High School seniors graduated, but one student was missing. 18-year-old Devaney Rooney was killed in a car accident on Friday, just days before she was set to walk across the stage for her diploma. News 5's Dana Winter shows us how she was remembered tonight. We sat in my car for three hours talking about how we were going to miss these moments. Fellow students remember 18 year old Devaney Rooney, who was killed in a head on crash on Friday. Devaney Sage Rooney. Devaney's sister accepting the diploma she was days away from receiving. I didn't want to leave it. I didn't want to hear it. Family, friends, and classmates remembered Devaney at a vigil on Saturday. She's a very strong person. Always a smile on her face no matter what kind of day she was having. If somebody else was having a bad day, she wasn't. She was very quick to give them a hug, give them love, anything they needed. And that was Dana Winter reporting. There is a link to a GoFundMe on our website, helping the family with funeral expenses. Mobile County graduations continue tomorrow with Blunt at 930. Then Baker, the largest high school in the district, will be broken up into two parts with one group graduating at 130 and the other at 530. Only five guests are being allowed for each graduate. Each ceremony will be streamed on MCPSS TV and on the school system's Facebook page. For a complete list of graduation dates and times for Mobile County Public Schools, go to our website, WKRG.com. Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic, there are more than 5.5 million COVID-19 cases worldwide and more than 350,000 deaths. The U.S. has more than 1.6 million cases and is approaching 100,000 deaths. Let's take a look at the numbers here on the Gulf Coast, starting with the state of Mississippi. They're reporting 13,700 cases and 652 deaths. In the state of Alabama, more than 15,300 cases and 575 deaths. In the state of Florida, there are 52,200 cases and 2,259 deaths. Johns Hopkins University reports that Alabama had an uptick of 50% or more in new coronavirus cases over the past week. One of just five states with such a dangerous growth in COVID-19. The Mobile County Health Department reports 299 new cases last week, the worst one-week total so far here. 
12 states have seen an increase from 10 to 50 percent, including Mississippi, and 33 states have seen a steady number of cases or a drop in cases last week. Florida is one of those. Well, despite coronavirus concerns, Baldwin County's beach towns did not see a drop in visitors for Memorial Day. News 5's Brianna Hollis spoke with tourism officials about the tone this sets for the rest of the summer season and for the local economy. Well, in this beach parking lot alone, we saw license plates from nine different states, and that's something the president of Coastal Alabama Tourism is happy to see. We had a great turnout for 2020 Memorial Day weekend, especially when you think what we've been through over the last couple of months. This year, Memorial Day weekend was a make it or break it moment for our beach town economies, thanks to COVID-19. Really didn't know what to expect even through the month of, of May. Uh, until people started turning out like they have. There's another side to this coin. While crowds bring in the cash, they also make social distancing more difficult. But as a CNN report from the weekend shows, many beachgoers didn't seem to care. Do you have any concerns about being at the beach with so many people with Not your children? Not at all. Not at all. Do you ever wear a mask? No. My wife and kids do. I don't. How come you don't? I just feel comfortable that I'm going to be okay. We should note it's not required to wear masks at the beach, but it's recommended when around people outside your household. Meanwhile, Gulf Shores Mayor Robert Kraft addressed the crowds at tonight's city council meeting, saying more people showed up than the city expected, but the vast majority were social distancing. Tourism President Herb Malone seconds the mayor. I'm just very proud to see the families down here and, and enjoying themselves and uh, spacing themselves like they should. The city is working with the state health officer to navigate these unprecedented steps towards normalcy. Reporting in Gulf Shores, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5. Oh, we are